Hi, I'm Beth Jeffrey from My Tutoring Bee, and today we are going to be talking about the difference between standard form, expanded form, and word form. Now we are going to be working with all whole numbers today. Decimals will be for another video, so let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have a little grid set up with a column for standard form, a column for expanded form, and a column for word form. And you see an example in each one of these sections. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a clue as to what we're looking for for each of these different types of forms of numbers. But what we're going to do is go ahead and fill out, complete the rest of this grid with the missing pieces. So. We're going to start off here with this number in standard form. It's given to us in standard form, and we need to write it in expanded form and word form. Now, expanded form is just taking all of these digits from each place value and expanding them out, separating them out into their different values. So the 6, since it is in the 10 thousands place, that 6 is worth 60,000, so that's going to be our first number. 60,000. And then we're going to add on each additional value after that. So the 3 is in the thousands place, so that 3 is worth 3,000. And then the next digit is the 4. The 4 is in the hundreds place, so that 4 is worth 400. Then we move on to the 8. The 8 is in the tens place, so that 8 is worth 80. For our last digit, number 7, the 7 is in the ones place, so we just need to add on 7 ones. So there we have 63,487 in expanded form. Now word form is just written out in words the way that we would say this number. So 63,000, that comma kind of gives us a signal of when to stop and say the place value. And then we have 487. So I'm just going to write that in word form. So 63, whenever we have a number, sorry, two numbers that are put together like that, we want to put a hyphen in between. So I have 63,487. So again, 87 will be hyphenated. Okay, let's go on down to the next one. In this next example, we are given expanded form. So let's start off by writing that in standard form. So I see 50,000, I see 3,000, I see 820 and five. So that just tells me what number or what digit goes in each place value. So if I have 50,000, plus 3,000, then I know that those two are going to go in the 10,000 and then 1,000 spots. And then 800, the eight goes in the hundreds place. 20 tells me that the two goes in the tens place. And the five ones tells me that the five goes in the ones place. Now let's write this out in word form. So we would have 53,000. 825. Okay, so there we have it in word form. All right, and then for our last example, we are given the number in word form, and we need to write it in expanded and standard form. I'm actually going to start off just realized that I didn't make this pink, so let me make it color-coded here. Okay, so in our standard form, let's go ahead and read this number in word form and then we can write it in standard form. 72,531. 72,000, so that tells me that's where the comma is. 500, so the 5 is in the 100 spot, 31. So we've got 3 and a 1. Great, okay, so now expanded form. I like to do expanded form from standard form. You certainly could have done expanded form first. So our 70,000 goes first because that seven is in the 10 thousands place, plus we've got 2,000 from the two in the thousands place. 
We've got 5 in the hundreds place, so that represents 500. We've got 3 in the tens place, so 30 and then one in the ones place. So there we have it. Now you can see the side-by-side -side comparison of standard form, expanded form, and word form. I hope this video was very helpful for you in learning the difference between these three different types of forms. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.